Okay, we're recording. Okay, good day guys. So, we will discuss today AST and ALT. So, the enzymes that um, were discussed last meeting. So, we're just rationalizing it today and this is your post-lab discussion. So, I'm happy that you tune in today. So, let's start guys. So, AST or aspartate aminotransferase. So, aspartate aminotransferase. So, this enzyme is part of the transferases um, family or transaminases family. So, its previous name was serum glutamic oxaloacetic acid trans transaminase or SGOT. And SGOT. So, that's why um, if you're going to work and laboratory, baka may mga old school na sabi na lang, magpa-OT test, may OT test. Yan. So, OT test is um, SGOT na shortcut class or AST test. Yan. AST class transfers, facilitates a chemical reaction that transfers the amino group between aspartate and alpha keto acids. Yan. So, class, the normal process of your aspartate is AST is um, reversible is reversible. So in our in your aspartate plus alpha ketoglutarate will result to oxaloacetate to glutamate. Yeah. So one so your keto acids one once it is produced class it is important in the energy production and it's a source of energy from the TCA cycle. So class um for your AST to work it needs a coenzyme which is P5P pyridoxal 5-phosphate or okay na ako sa pyridoxal phosphate. And so, it's the active form of vitamin B6. Class AST is a, sabihin natin, non-specific enzyme. It's not really non It's very non-specific. Why? Because in cases where there is damage in the cardiac tissue, damage in your liver, damage in your skeletal muscles class, your AST can increase yeah, in cardiac tissue. So it can be found in your heart, in your liver, in your skeletal muscles. Class. So ibig sabihin, kahit anong sakit related to those parts will increase your AST. Yeah. So class, so ba'n ba't pa natin pinag-aaralan? Non-specific naman pala. So, di ba, paano pa natin maaaral kung myocardial infarction pala? Eh, AST mataas man pala sa lahat. You know, class, AST is very valuable specifically in resource scarce area. Yan. Class, alam mo, AST class, it's very affordable test. You can actually do it, so you will need a reagent and spectrophotometry. Class, you can find it in secondary laboratories. They are performing it yan. So, especially dito sa Philippines na they, we cannot afford um, more specific tests and more sensitive tests, AST can be good for doctors. Yeah, and doctors from the barrio, ganun. So, ang ganda rin siya. Yes. So, class next is your clinical significance. So, ito yung mga minimemorize natin, guys. Ha? For in my cardiac infarction, so your AST will slowly rise from 6 to 8 hours. Yan. So, after the onset of your um, cardio, myocardial infarction. So there is an six to eight um, hours rise of AST. It will peak after 24 hours. It's the high. Um, so, kung pinakama, so kailangan, class, um, check yung AST, sabi natin, every four hours. Yan. And it will normalize within five days. Yan. AST pattern does not diagnose myocardial infarction, but rules out concurrent liver damage. And AST pattern does not diagnose MI, but rules out concurrent liver damage. And so, aside from the heart, tamataas rin siya pag may hepatocellular disorders. So, in your hepatocyte, so when there are hepat death of hepatocytes and skeletal muscle involvement. Yan. So, yung tatlong yun. So, class, so these are the conditions which affects your AST. So, yung pinaka-pronounced elevation are acute hepatocellular damage, MI, shock, acute pancreatitis, infectious mononucleosis, class, infectious mononucleosis caused by your Epstein-Barr virus. Three to five elevation, 
biliary tract obstruction, cardiac arrhythmias, congestive heart failure, um, metastatic or primary tumor in liver, muscular dystrophy. I want you to be familiar lang. So, class, so muscle, nung na-affect na yung skeletal muscle, like muscular dystrophy, three to five times elevation. In class, we have slight elevation, pericarditis, cirrhosis, pulmonary infection. So, class, mas mataas ang mga yung pronounced elevation, yun, acute hepatular da, hepatocellular damage, MI, shock, pang, acute pancreatitis, I am. So, please just um, get to know them better. So, class, we have two methodologies for you. So, we have Car Carmen method. So, this is what I utilized last time. So, the principle was Carmen method, which is specifically um, coupled enzyme reaction. So, we utilize two enzymes, your AST and your malate dehydrogenase. Malate dehydrogenase. So, class, in your, um, in our first post-lab activity, so one way of identifying the uh, identifying the catalytic activity of AS AST is for identifying the, ox measuring the oxida oxidation of NADH. Yan, na oxidize yung NADH to NAD. So that is what we're monitoring at 340 nanometers. Yan, so the interval, uh, so there were four readings and it, at four intervals. So I, so basically we, measured the change of absorbance per minute. Yan, the change of absorbance per minute. So, doon natin na-measure. Kasi ang galing ng mga nag-invento ng mga ganito. So, class, they based it on what AST did. So, aspartate plus alpha-ketoglutarate. So, your AST will produce the product which is oxaloacetate and glutamate. So, they get, they, they acquire their oxaloacetate. So, from the product, Nag-add sila ng NADH, yan, plus another hydrogen ion. Tapos, ang gamit na enzyme na is malate dehydrogenase. It will produce malate and NAD. Yan. So, ang oxidation ng NADH na naging NAD. So, that is what is measured at 340 nanometers. Yes, galing. Yeah. And we have, so we have Carmen and now we have Reitman Frankel. We have colorimetric method. So these are the um, reagents that were used. We have color developer, your 2 for DNPH or diphenylhydrazone. So the co colorimetric, so we measure the final color, which is blue at 505 nanometers. Yeah, and syempre, the higher, the, um, the concentration of the of the uh, of the AST and the the higher the absorbance of your blue color, yeah. But it lacks specificity, though. So, class, a few um, notes. So, it requires a coenzyme. The sources of error is hemolysis. So, once your your Collected specimen was hemolyzed, forget about it. Collect another specimen for AST. It is stable for three to four days. And class, the reference value is um, up to 30 international units based on Bishop. Okay, class, we are now in your alanine amino transferase. So instead of aspartate, now we are in alanine. Yeah. So, same thing, they are transferases or transaminase. Your ALT is also called as SGPT, serum glutamic pyruvic transaminase. So, it catalyzes the transfer of an amino group from alanine to your alpha glutarate with the formation of glutamate and pyruvate. So, the products are glutamate and your pyruvate. So, class, this is ALT, is our liver specific. Enzyme, ayan. So, I think it's way better, di ba? Kasi nga, liver-specific na po siya. Ayan. So, it's specifically in the liver and I love it. Ako, nung intern ako, grabe talaga. Nagtetest talaga ako dun. <laughs> ALT all the time. And according to 6 to 37, ang reference range na nasulat ko dito. Tignan natin. Sa Bishop ata, 5 to, let's see. 
Yan. So, in your normal chemical reaction, so this, what is this? So, I got this from Bishop. So, the products are pyruvate and glutamate. Yan. So, for test methodology, so we have a coupled enzyme reaction. I don't know if it's called Carmen. Yan. Sa ano lang, ang ataang Carmen, sa AST lang. So, still, it's a coupled enzyme reaction. So, there's no name for it. So, instead of malic dehydrogenase, ALT is coupled with your lactate dehydrogenase. Ang galing talaga nito mga to. So, alanine plus alpha-ketoglutarate. So, ALT acts upon it and pyruvate. It will result to pyruvate and glutamate. Your pyruvate. In the addition of NADH, yeah, and so we will measure the oxidation of NADH at 340 nanometers. So it will form lactate and NAD. Yeah. So class, the pH, optimal pH, according to Bishop, is 7.3 to 7.8. So pareha sila class, ha? So the oxidation of NADH to NAD is what we are searching for. Yeah. Two. To, it will reflect the catalytic activity of your ALC. Yeah. So, class, we have ito, pareho sila, Reitman-Frankel. So, it's also a colorimetric method. So, class, both of the tests have um, kinetic enzyme or coupled enzyme reaction and colorimetric, which is Reitman-Frankel. So, sa ano naman, class, sa, sa um, reaction na to, sa laboratory test na to. So, the substrate used is alanine, alpha ketoglutaric acid. The end products are glutamic acid and pyruvate. So far, wala naman ako, wala ako na research na color. Yan, baka na, na search niyo ako. Let's call it developer 2 for DNPH and 0.4 NaOH is the intensifier. So, yun, reference range according to Bishop is 6 to 37 international units. And class, last but not the least. It's dry erase ratio. Class, you know, ever since we were in college, we were learning about this. So when we say dry erase, dry erase ratio, so it is the ratio between AST over ALT. So even sa being class, but you divide nyo sila. Yan, you divide nyo sila. Yung AST over ALT. Um, class, ang tagal na na pala na itong um, the right is ratio, 1957 siya. So it is already about... Um, more than, ano ba, 70? 2020 na eh, di ba? Less than, um, less than um, 67 years, di ba? 63 years, 63 years na siya. <laughs> so class, um, depende sa, uh, sa, sa nabasa nyo ha, but class, I've searched a journal this 2013. Ito na yung pinaka- nakita kong journal about talking about the right is ratio that you know sabi niya ang cr critic niya sa the right is ratio it's oversimplified yan it's very oversimplified shadong pina simple na it does not um, capture the whole picture of ASD and ALT yan but this is what i've learned that right now the right is ratio can still be used according to both Botros and Sicaris 2013. They said it can be a predictive of long-term complication including fibrosis and cirrhosis. So you can use AST, ALT ratio or the dryitis ratio in assessing your fibrosis and cirrhosis. So class, when we say um, fibrosis and cirrhosis, so class, um, your liver, instead of, since a person is drinking so much of um, alcohol, there is increased death of hepatocytes. And class, unfortunately, um, if your hepatocytes won't grow back, kung hindi sa baba at tutubo ulit, actually it's very slow. Pero since kung sinusugat mo ng sinusugat ang liver mo kasi inom ka ng inom, eventually, instead of hepatocytes growing, what will grow are um, tissue scars or tissue fibers, class. Ang layo naman, kumbaga, yung hepatocyte mo, they are incredible um, factory workers. They detoxify um, any anything that you put it into your system. They are great detoxifiers itong mga hepatocyte na to. 
So, kung inom ka ng inom at lagi mo silang pinapatay, eventually, itong mga hepatocyte class, it will turn into scar tissue. Magiging scar na lang. Class sa tingin nyo, nagde-detoxify ang scar, hindi. So, pag may cirrhosis ka, fibrosis, puro scar tissue na ang liver mo. So, yan, you can use it for the right ratio. But they, they said naman na, ayun, pag acute viral hepatitis, AST is greater than ALT naman daw. So, there is increased ratio. And alcoholic liver disease, alcoholic hepatitis, non-alcoholic liver, liver Fatty liver, ELT is greater than EST. So, mas matas daw yung nasa um, denominator. So, decreased ratio. Yeah, decreased ratio. Siyempre, mas matas yung ano, pag dinivide mo. Plus, uh, ganyan yan, class. So, that's the rightest ratio. An additional discussion for EST and ELT. So, um, may the rightest ratio discussions not based on Bishop, based on... Um, Henry, but Botros and Sicaris, yan. Para mas may updated 2013, yan. So guys, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. So thank you. Bye bye. I'll see you again. Ha. Maraming maraming salamat.